Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, one of the nice things about getting the cooler weather, the ozone levels drop, and with the fires not being as much of an issue, our air quality has improved. Now, today, we're still in the moderate category, the air quality index, sitting up there in the yellow category at a 60, just above the 50 here, and a conditional fire burn, in other words, a mandatory fire burn for uh, some locations, other places, not the case. So you have to check your local ordinances for that. But tomorrow, good news, back down to 50 here, which is just the top edge of the green category. So improving air quality. Quality. Always good news when you're dealing with uh, this time of year, July and August. Let's not forget our Roaring Springs Trivia Contest. Uh, we'll continue this tonight at 10 o'clock, so keep that in mind. Uh, the weather word for last Friday was choking, and the winner is David Nudo from Cambridge. Won two tickets to Roaring Springs. If you'd like to get a chance to go to Roaring Springs, you're going to need it this week, too, by the way. It's going to get hotter and sunnier. That's my forecast coming up. Uh, you can have that opportunity tonight. We'll show you the water safety word of the day, giving some water safety tips all week last week and again all week this week. The grand prize will be drawn Friday. That's going to be Friday during the evening hours, and today's 6 News will keep you updated on that. Let's first of all take a look at the high temperatures so far today. We did touch 91 in Boise, but those temperatures have dropped back into the 80s, 87 Ontario, 80 in Mountain Home. So you see some of the heat right in this region. It was cooler in Twin with some of the showers nearby and comfortable temperatures in Idaho's mountains. Had some storms up there on Saturday. Saw some campers coming back with some wet tents. That was the case, but Sunday really turned out to be bright and sunny in most locations today. Back to a lot of cloud cover. You see some of the cloud cover in the Treasure Valley, but boy, this is really beginning to thin out, and I think we're going to end up this evening with a lot of sunshine around, so not so bad for the Treasure Valley. Temperatures near 90, 88 Ontario. Still some rain up around northwest Owyhee County. This is tracking up to the north right now. This here will affect Western Canyon County. Homedale might get a shower out of this. In fact, it's probably happening out a few sprinkles nearby, but this system is weakening as it moves in, coming up by Highway uh, 95 here. Dry rest of the map of the Treasure Valley right now. The Magic Valley, again, eastern sections of the Magic Valley, heavy showers and storms, much more moist. Had a flash flood warning here in northeast uh, Nevada. That has now been expired. Good news there. And the drier conditions to the west, red flag warning effect in those locations. You see the moisture down to the south. It, that's pretty much the end of it. I think we get a little cloud cover maybe early tomorrow morning. After that, we are in good shape. But I want to show you this. This is Fabio, uh, a, a tropical system that's tracking to the north. It's going to be weakening rapidly but as it moves over the colder water, but as it does so, it will send tropical moisture in our neck of the woods, and we have to watch that because it looks like we're very dry this week, but on Thursday, we could have some cloud cover around if that moves back in and maybe some showers and storms. But the heat returns. That's the key, and it's probably going to last all week long. I think the latter part of the week, we're still going to be hot. My on-your-side forecast for the Church of Valley, 90 to 95 tomorrow. It's going to feel hotter than today, mostly sunny. Back to your typical ho-hum, hot July weather, low 90s, a few Few degrees above average, but pretty much what you would expect in the mountains. You'll be heating up a stray storm possible in the McCall area during the morning and midday hours, but increasing sunshine everywhere. Talk about mid 90s, 94, 95, right through Sunday. I'm going to watch Thursday's weather in case that tropical disturbance messes up the computer forecast here. It could go to near 100 by next Monday, but I don't see 100 degree temps this week. One could try to sneak in there, especially on Thursday if we keep bright sunshine around. All in all, that is atypical mid-July forecast. If you've got, got a vacation yeah. this week, uh, not bad. Well, and the low temperatures, that's going to be nice because you can open up the house at night. It's going to dry out. The air will dry out. That brings the low temperature down. Good news. Like it. Fabio? <laughs> hey, I don't name him, Don. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The Idaho Red Cross.